Okay, so this is an ankle gaiter made by Ultra. The front has a little clip that hooks onto the, uh, you know, the front shoelace area right there. That hooks on there. And then the back, <clears throat> for the Ultra gaiter, the back has a set of Velcro attachments. And the Ultra has what's known as a gaiter trap that this mates into. So the, the shoe has the, the scratchy part of the Velcro on the shoe. And then the soft part is a flap that hangs off. So then this matches up to there and you fold this over and then your, your gator never comes off until you want it to. Um, unfortunately, <clears throat> you know, the kid, kid versions of ultras, which they don't even make anymore, never came with the gator trap, but my kids wanted to wear gators. Um, and the little pieces of sticky Velcro that come with the gators are worthless. They don't, they don't stick at all. And, um, so what we settled on was to basically glue Velcro to the shoe to make a gator trap. Um, the way that we do it is with the sewing type of, of Velcro that has no sticky on the back. Um, cause we're going to glue, we're going to glue it and the sticky would just interfere with the glue. So you just match it up and cut yourself an appropriately sized piece. This I believe is three quarter inch wide. And I cut it, you know, reasonably square, maybe a little, a little bit shorter than square. Um, and we're going to put a little, we're going to build a little gator trap right on there. And I've already cut a piece. The important, important, important thing to remember is that the scratchy part of the Velcro, the, the hook part, goes against the shoe. Because if you put it backwards, it's not going to work with the ultra gators anyways. I, I believe the other types of gators kind of, kind of adopted the same standard. So anyways, we just put the Velcro together and the glue that we're, that works the best as far as I'm concerned is E6000. E6000 is flexible and very, very tough. It's very hard to tear if you pull on it really hard. Um, and it, and it, they hold on for quite a while under normal use conditions on just about any shoe that you would glue it onto. Um, so again, make triple sure that the scratchy part is closer to the shoe and then we're just going to smear some glue on there helps to have some sort of little plastic credit card type thing <clears throat> oh man this is like coming out like crazy okay so i'm going to get this flipped around um i'm going to put the glue on the part that i want to touch the shoe first and i'm going to put some glue on the shoe too and then i'm going to take a little, this is just a piece of a water bottle that I cut up, and I'm gonna kinda try to pre-smear pre the glue where this needs to hit. And it's okay if you go a little too big, it'll stick really well. Um, typically my problem is I don't, I don't put enough on there. Now this, this E6000 is, you know, slightly runny, but not extremely runny. So it, it kind of smooths itself out, but it won't like, you know, really drip if you have a clump of it. It kind of does firm up pretty quick, especially in Florida. I guess it has some reaction to the moisture in the air. Um, we don't want a ton of extra on there. So that, and I'm gonna just quadruple check that the, the scratchy part of the Velcro is down. And then we're gonna just put this on here. Doesn't have to be perfect, perfectly aligned. Um, what you don't want is for any glue to really get on this part right here to, to secure these together, but we do wanna secure it together at the bottom so we end up with a flap. So what we're gonna do at the bottom is add some extra glue to make that gator trap shape. And I'm not doing a fantastic job because I have a giant, giant bottle with E6000 right now. They have a smaller bottle with a little fine applicator tube on the end that would be a lot better for this particular activity. 
but I'm just going to kind of paint this in so that it, it grabs the bottom of the outer Velcro and, and so that the bottom Velcro is nicely secured. And it's, mine's kind of folding up a little bit, so I'm just going to kind of try to build up a little bit more glue under the edge here. I don't really, I mean, this is a short term thing, anyways. I mean, kids grow out of these so fast, it almost doesn't matter how long it lasts. It's got to last for one, one good trip. Um, so that looks pretty good to me. You can kind of try to come in here and squish it down a little bit as it starts to set. But basically, if it sets while the Velcro is in contact with the glue, then once it sets, it's not coming off really easily. So that's that's our goal is basically just for it to set while it's still touching the glue. Of course I got a little piece of uh, grass in there too. It's just like the decoration. Um, put a little bit more on this corner just because Try to push it down a little bit. Build that glue up so it grabs that corner. Um, now this takes, it takes only about 30 minutes to really kind of set up. And then it takes 24 hours plus to cure to full strength. They say up to 72 hours until it's truly at full strength, but you know, 24 hours, I'm sure you could use it. Um, that's it, so I just leave these propped up, just like that, and it'll dry like that. Ta-da!